Starfield has been out for about six months now, so I think it's time to ask the question, where do we go from here? What does the future of Starfield actually look like, at least right now? Well, thankfully, we know that Bethesda is still updating Starfield every six weeks, give or take. And so far, these updates have actually been pretty damn great. The first update in this schedule added in many bug fixes and some quality of life stuff, such as an FOV slider, which many fans, including myself, were asking for since day one. And the latest update added in an entire overhaul slash upgrade to photo mode, which again, a lot of us were asking for. But not only that, they fixed over 400 bugs, which is fantastic. We also know that over the next few months when they continue to update the game again every six weeks roughly give or take that we'll be getting tons of quality of life features as well as these huge bug fixes of course some that have been confirmed are city maps new ways to travel which i know many of you are really looking forward to and custom settings which i'm looking forward to the most being able to make your enemies more difficult to defeat will be great for my high level character and honestly, I mostly just can't wait to change how many credits vendors have. I have way too much stuff to sell, and it's painful waiting 48 hours for vendors to restock their credits. But okay, so outside of these bug fixes and quality of life updates, which are great on their own, how else does the future of Starfield look? Well, clearly two things people are most looking forward to is the Shatter Space DLC and the creation kit finally being released to the game, so modders can finally start creating some extra content for Starfield. And to me anyway, it does look like one of the reasons that Bethesda are taking a while to add in all of this stuff is because of just how often they're updating Starfield, again with all of these quality of life features and bug fixes. I mean, there's not really any point in releasing the creation kit when you're still updating the game every six weeks. I for one haven't modded Starfield at all because of this. Firstly, I just don't really see a reason to mod at the moment, I'm still discovering new things in the game, I don't really have a reason to mod right now, and mostly I just don't see the point in modding when again I'll need to update my mods every few weeks when these updates come out. And to be honest, I think that this is really just the best strategy. Fix and update the game as much as possible and then release content for it like mods and upcoming DLCs. These are two things that will bring back a lot of players to the game, so you might as well make the game as best as it can possibly be before doing that. So then when people come back, they can see how much has improved. I mean, if you ask me, I'd say it's surprising how much Starfield has actually improved in the last six months since launch compared to where it's at now. I don't really see any bugs in Starfield anymore besides the one that you probably just saw in the video and one quest bug that I've had for a couple of weeks, which Bethesda have confirmed they're fixing in their most recent update. My point is this is a good strategy to update your game as much as possible before you start pumping out more content. But speaking of content, mod support and Shattered Space are not the only things that we have to look forward to in the future of Starfield. We know that Shattered Space isn't the only DLC coming to Starfield, they've got other DLCs planned and they will be coming probably this year actually. But as to what these other DLCs are, we have just about no idea, but we can assume that we'll obviously get many new things in them like new armors, spaceship parts like HABs, quests, locations, maybe even new towns and cities since Bethesda are known to do that with all of their DLCs. I am really curious to know how new land DLCs will work in Starfield, like how Far Harbor or Dragonborn worked in Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Whether they'll just add in new locations to an already built planet, maybe we'll get an entire new solar system to explore, who knows, but it's something I'm really curious about, assuming Bethesda follows the same DLC formula that they've done for like well over a decade. Now one of the things that gets me really excited is just that Bethesda have said multiple times that they're looking at the feedback, taking notes and trying to add in most of the stuff that the majority of players want, and we've seen that they're already doing that. But as for the future, they know that we want a quote unquote evil companion who likes it when we murder or steal because we didn't get that with Constellation, so maybe we'll get that in a future DLC. I mean, they know how much we love spaceship building and how many hours we've all put into it, so new spaceship hubs and other parts, again, or extremely likely, whether that's free updates or DLCs, we don't know. I, for one, have been really hoping for a Star Station slash Space Station Builder DLC, where you can literally just create your own space station for you and your crew to live on and choose which planet or moon it orbits. 
I also really want some more quality of life stuff, such as unlimited storage for outposts and player homes, which is one of my very few big complaints with Starfield, as many of you will already know. But anyway, that is what the future of Starfield looks like as it currently stands. Some very exciting stuff to come. Super short video today, but if you did enjoy it, I can't think ask that you leave it a like and consider subscribing if you do want to stay up to date on everything Starfield, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, and of course we also cover a ton of other RPG stuff here too. Lastly, as always, a huge and massive thank you to all of our channel members for their monthly support. It really means the world, guys, so thank you so much for sticking with me month after month. But with all of that said and done, I thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you next time. Peace.